Arisa, with your host David Roman and Marcus. Today I will be speaking to Mr. King from Lassell's group and and the other areas from Big Ship Productions. Okay. Yes, the topic for today is groups. Yes, and as you all know, a group consists of two or more persons coming together, working with for a specific object. Between the formal and informal group. Yes. My company works under a formal group setting. And a formal group is a work group that is defined by the organization structure. And there are quite a different types of sub subgroups that come under the formal group. And you have like command group. Command group is basically basically like a group of persons working together that re report directly to a specific manager. And you have also a task group, who is just basically a group of persons working together just to accomplish a certain task or job. Okay. 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 Well, the in, in a informal group, which the um, Big Ship Studios works on, it is um, a neatherly, formally structured group Right. No, our organization is determined. Informal group is broken down into two subgroups that are interest group and friendship group. The interest group now are people working together to obtain a certain objective. While in the friendship group, there are people brought together for a common goal or are want to achieve a certain goal. Are there any models well, basically, you have group, uh, models out there, you know, but I basically know about the five-stage group development model. There is also you have the future model. Well, the five-stage group development model now is broken down into five stages, right? You have the forming, you have the storming, you have the norming, performing, and adjourning. The forming stage now, this is when the group comes together. The storming now, this is when like the group is together but their people don't really know about the, each other's personalities. So now you have the norming now in which they get to know each other, they're gelling together, so they relax and feel comfortable. So now the performing stage now, they have the task at hand, they do them thing and the group works together with. Then you have the adjourning stage now, that is when the group has done its time and everybody this but um this band and go there separately. Alright, what about this fisherman? Well the fisherman is basically the same as he explained but it's broken down into four phases. You have the orientation phase, you have the conflict, emergence and also you have the reinforcement. As we explained earlier, it's similar to the fisher's model. But the orientation stage is where everybody comes together to get to know each other more. Might be a slight tension, but that's how groups, groups are like, you know? And then you have the conflict stage, you know, when at times they might have a few debates on each other's ideas. They might not agree, but they work along with it. And also the emergence stage is where the tension begins to slighten up a bit. People get more conflict comfortable around each other and also they get to be more relaxed and work together and also for the final phase which is the reinforcement this is where everybody brainstorm come together come to a final decision to you know, compete in the task at hand now can get your signal that we have a call call up line one what is your question so Mr. Aries, what are the factors that generally affect group behavior? Well, the key factors of group um, that influence group behavior is that you have self-esteem, which people come together and help each other out, like encouraging each other, boosting, help motivating each other to complete a certain task or objective. You have you have um, group achieve um, sorry, group achievement. That is when that is which uh, people come together to achieve a certain goal 
in which they have set themselves down to achieve. So you have affiliation also, that is different groups coming together for achieving a certain task or objective. Now, Mr. King, how does norms exert influence over persons here? Well, firstly, norms is basically acceptable, acceptable standards of behavior within a group that is generally shared with the group members. So, basically, you know that in a group you have to know how to behave in a group. Certain things that you would do by yourself, you cannot do it in a group. Right? You're doing this for the group and you're also working for the other So there are certain things that you have to know how to do when you're in a group. And this question is directed to Mr. King. How does cohesiveness affect the decision-making process? Well, firstly, cohesiveness is basically the degree to which um, group members work together and how well, how attached they are to each other. So, basically, some of the advantages is that it might stimulate a lot of group competition between other groups. Right. Another advantage is that they would be able to spend more time working together as a group, spend more time with each other. Also, a disadvantage would be that um, probably being that it's a cohesive group, there's not many weaknesses there because everybody working together as one. So, one weakness, for example, could be that being that it's such a cohesive group, there might be error in decision making. Say for example, one decides to do something in the group, then everybody randomly agrees. Why? Because they're so attached to each other that they just go with what each other say, and therefore there could be an error in the decision making. Alright, We have a caller. Caller, please take your question. To Mr. Aries, within your group, what strengths and weaknesses affect the decision-making process? Well, yeah, uh, all right. Groups have strengths and weaknesses, right? Group strength, as in, when you, have, when you have more than one person, right, you have more information and more knowledge gaining to make a decision. So, therefore, you have a better advantage there to, to complete a task or a solution. So a weakness now is when a time consuming whereas each individual has a, sol a solution to a problem yet but then one person tends to don't want to agree to the rest of the group causing a time strain so then the solution will never um, become complete. Yes. I'd like to thank you for joining us in the most informative episode. And tune in next time when our topic will be this dance our culture, where we'll sit down and have a deep discussion with one and only artist, Adija Palmer, also known as Vibes Cartel.